this is the chair pod it's an air mouse and presentation tool it comes in around 50 pounds on amazon i wanted to try this out because it's a very compact mouse that you can use as a wireless trackpad now i'm just gonna unbox this and showcase to you guys how this looks and how it performs but one of the reasons why you might want to buy this is if you want the capabilities of having a mouse a trackpad and a wireless presentation laser pointer then this is something that will be really useful for you so in the box you can see there's some instructions here essentially there's two modes to this mouse there's air mode and ground mode ground mode is what you will use the mouse for on the actual desk like a normal mouse or a normal trackpad air mode is if you wanted to hold it in your hand some of the gestures that you can use in that mode so you can see there's some options listed here as soon as you open it up of what each of those modes can do depending on the location where you press on the trackpad so let's open this out you can see how incredibly compact that is it's kind of like a, a very mini apple trackpad and i'll show you a comparison in a second but this is only 2.3 inches and this is extremely light this weighs only 33 grams and it can fit literally anywhere. You can put it in your pocket, backpacks, wherever you like. Before I turn that on, let's just see what else is in the accessories box. Now it charges with USB-C, which I think is a great touch. I was predicting it might be micro USB, but thank God it's not. And then you also have the user manual, which will give you some instructions of the air gestures. So let me just go over to the English version. So it's pretty straightforward to connect to Bluetooth. All you need to do is press and hold the middle button for a couple of seconds. The LED light will blink twice. Then it can be found as ChairPod on your Bluetooth device, which will be your laptop. So it's compatible with both Mac and Windows. So if you see here, these are the, the gestures that you can make when it's on ground mode. And this works across Mac and MacBooks, Windows and iPads and other tablets. And they do different things. And these are all of the air mode gestures so I will be trying a few of these out to see how well it performs. But let me just quickly run through the chair pod itself. You'll notice there's a blue LED light just on the side of the chair pod. That's the USB-C charging port. You've got a few click areas, so top left, top right, and middle click as well. So it's very compact. On this side, you have the laser pointer there. So once it's in air mode, you can use the laser pointer by holding down the middle button. And these are the switches. So right now it's in off. The middle one is ground mode and the last one is air mode. So very simple, but just by way of comparison, this is my Apple trackpad. Now this Apple Magic Trackpad 2 is 150 pounds and this chip pod is 50 pounds. So a third of the price, I wanted to see how well it compares. Of course, this is super large and super responsive. It's a very premium product. This is one of those that you can find as a cheaper alternative. And this clearly has more features than this, but I wanted to see how well it performs. Let me go ahead and pair this with my MacBook Pro. Start using it in ground mode first and see how well it performs and how responsive it is in terms of its latency. So let's go ahead and do that now. Right, so I've got the chair pod now connected by a Bluetooth to my MacBook Pro. Make sure you put it on air mode when you follow the instructions to pair it. It was quick and easy. So as you can see, it's pretty responsive. Now, if I start scrolling, I can just use one finger to do that. It does scroll quite fast. Of course, it's not like the Apple Magic trackpad or anything like that, but for the most things that I would probably need to do on a day to day, it actually works pretty well. So I wanted to try some of these other gestures listed here for ground mode, which is the mode I'm currently on. Right click, that works very well. Left click, if I go like this. That also works very well. It's a very nice soft click, so it's not loud and it's very easy to press. Now you can also zoom in and out with pinching your fingers. So let me see how good that works. Okay, that was pretty straightforward. I'm quite impressed with that actually. It doesn't zoom in fluidly like an Apple Magic trackpad, but it actually zooms in as if you're zooming in manually through the keyboard. So when you do Command Plus, it goes in the incremental percentages to zoom in and out. It does it exactly like that, which actually works fine for me. Now you can switch between all of the windows as well by swiping up with four fingers. So let me try and see how easy it is to do that. So it took a few attempts. Obviously it's 
probably due to the size and the weight of this device because it actually ends up moving with you when you use multiple fingers to control things but it did do it in the end as well the one thing i would say is if you are going to use three or four finger commands to do anything it might be a little bit tricky because it's so lightweight it ends up moving with you on the desk but as you can see it done a pretty good job by moving the mouse itself with your fingers so it still showed like the mission control so if i really wanted to have a compact mouse like this to use on a desk i think this actually works very well so now let me switch over and try air mode to see what gestures i can do while holding this in my hand okay for air mode you have to basically switch the mouse to be vertical like this with the middle button there on the left hand side and then you can hold the mouse in your hand and use the air gestures so this is where you'll be able to use the laser pointer by holding down the middle button. There you go. Works very well. And if I'm doing presentations in the office or anything like that, this will be a very convenient thing to have. And you can also use this to cycle through your PowerPoint presentations by just pressing the button anywhere to go through to the next slides. To scroll the page, you literally swipe down the left hand side of this while it's in vertical mode, as you can see. And then if you wanted to go down to the page, if you want to scroll up a little bit, you press the bottom. If you want to scroll down a little bit, you press the top. So it's very quick and easy. Again, if you wanted to zoom, you'll have to use two hands for this. You just simply pinch. That is very responsive and I'm quite happy with that. If you wanted to see mission control, then you can actually swipe up with two fingers and that was very quick and responsive as well compared to the ground mode so i quite like that and there's plenty of other things you can do you can drag items by double pressing and then dragging it along the mouse you can also use three fingers to show the desktop like so you know and that's essentially it and to be honest is it worth 50 pounds i reckon it can probably be a little bit cheaper because it is such a lightweight product if you drop it you know it possibly might break but for the things that it can do in this small device, I think it's worth checking out. So take a look at the link in the description below. It's available on Amazon. If there's anything else you guys want to know about the capabilities of this, then drop a comment down below. If you like this review and you like all things tech and you like gadgets like this, make sure to subscribe. I have plenty more videos coming out each and every week and I'll catch you guys next time. Take care.